hey, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by to hang out with me again today. It's going to be a good one. Because today we're going to start playing some light gun games. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Now, there were 16 licensed NES games released in North America. And I just happened to have them all. <laughs> so I think we should start playing some of these and see what's going on here. I have played most of these at some point. I think all of them. Some way more than others. Some I know very little about. Some I've played hours and hours on end. Uh, this thing was really fun back in the day. And it's hard to believe there's only 16 games that were made for this. Because there's, what, 670 some, 76 licensed games released in North America? But only 16 gun games? It's like they just forgot about it. And then there's also that you just can't hardly play them anymore unless you have an old school TV. It just doesn't work on the flat screens. And that hurts these a lot too. And I know people have made retrofitted guns that have been modded and they'll take the cartridge and mod it and it works with a new TVs and that's fine that's cool but let's, let's go ahead and make a multi cart here with all of the games on it instead of having to just duck hunt because that's cool and that's what we're gonna start with of course is duck hunt uh, I think about everybody would have had this because most people had the action set that come with the gun and the multi cart of Super Mario Brothers and duck hunt I know I played duck hunt a lot and skeet shooting god me and my friends used to of course, if you get the high score, that's the point of it. There's no ending to it. But we're going to give these a try. I'm going to go through all of them, make a video of each one. Should be a lot of fun. Some of these are really good. But we got to start with Duck Hunt. I mean, you just have to. So here we go. Some classic light gun games for the NES. Okay. I'm going to go two ducks. <laughs> if you're wondering how I'm doing this, I have a 14 inch CRT TV sitting right in front of me here. I'm using both ports on the NES. I have the coaxial port going to the CRT TV so that this will work. And then I'm using the component port to go out to the capture card on the computer. I didn't know that both would work at the same time. I mean, why wouldn't they? But I had never tried it until I got thinking about how I was going to do this. tried it and they both work. I can see on the computer screen the flicker is a lot more noticeable than it is on the TV. I don't remember even noticing that much as a kid. In case you don't know, when you pull the trigger, the screen flashes real quick. It flashes black and the targets are a white square. And if your sensor is pointed on the white square, it reads it and you get a score for hitting it. But it looks like it's a lot more noticeable on the computer than it is on the TV. I know we still have a lot of fun with this one as adults when we have our get togethers we'll always have a TV on in the game room with duck hunt going and seem like somebody be playing it all night we usually keep up with who's got the high score got a buddy named Chris that he beats everybody every single time I don't know how he does it he's just good at it He can get to the stages where 
You can't miss any and then go another 10 or 15 stages past that. Not missing any. Uh oh. <laughs> I can usually make it to the stages where you can't miss any and then I might make three or four and I'll mess up and miss one. And I remember back when I was a kid, you know, the rumor always was, could you or could you not shoot the dog? And I was the one that said, yes, somehow, some way, there's a way you can shoot the dog because I've seen it. And you should tell everybody that, and they no, you're crazy, you cannot shoot the dog. I, said, I swear, I have seen it. <laughs> And then later, I uh, got Barker Bill's trick shooting, and the same dog is on there, and there is one of the mini games where you can shoot the dog, and I got to thinking, well, man, did I see that and think that? And then even later, people doing good videos on YouTube, I figured out, no, I did see it, because there was an arcade game called Versus Duck Hunt, and that's what I seen at the arcade in the mall. We did not have that at the campground in our arcade, but Aladdin's Castle at the mall had that game because I remember seeing them shoot the dog and the dog came out on crutches. I remember that as plain as day but nobody ever believed me that had not seen that. And I found out much later in life that I did not misremember that. There was a game where you could shoot the dog. It seemed like on Versus Duck Hunt you do a round of duck hunting and then a round of skeet shooting and it does this bonus round where like a lot of ducks come flying up and the dog comes up too and if you hit him he comes out on crutches and says you're not supposed to shoot him what do you think is going to happen all that laughing he does faster on me. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. End of the round. Hey, hey. 
didn't miss any of that round. Of course, you get a bonus for having a perfect round. That helps your score a lot. Oh, oh, come on now. Oh, I wasn't paying attention again. I'm ready to shoot. Oh crap. I can only miss two now. What are you gonna do? A little out of practice. Let's do some skeet shooting. Now this the aim is a lot different on this. You gotta leave them either above them as they're going out or below them as they start to fall. This one's a lot of fun too. Uh oh. Crap. <laughs> Didn't hit either one of Does it make a difference how far out they are with the score? No. Man. I've never been able to get through as many rounds of skeet shooting as I have of duck hunting. <laughs> I didn't do very good on duck hunting though. That's all right though. <laughs> I remember at the at our arcade at the campground we had one of the Play Choice tins one time that had the gun with it and it had a uh, duck hunt on it and skeet shooting. That was a lot of fun playing with everybody out there. Of course, it's all about the bragging rights of the high score. Oh, long ways off. Two perfect rounds. I better hush, I'll jinx myself. Man. 
Maybe I like skeet shooting better. <laughs> That's a good way to start. Dang. Uh oh. Yeah. Looks like I need to practice up at duck hunting and skeet shooting. But hey, that's alright. This game was a lot, a lot of fun. Probably not so fun to watch. It's just fun to play, fun to sit around with other people and see who can get the high score, of course, because it's harder than it looks. It's The gun works really good. It's very accurate. But the way the targets move around, it makes it hard. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I would recommend it to anybody if you have a way to play it and that is the big thing unfortunately with these games but now i think on the wii there are some versions of duck hunt now the wii remote works really good as a gun if you got the little zapper thing like for lynx crossbow training man that's a lot of fun uh, i think there's some other shooting games for the wii they should have made a little package of all of these games uh, to play on it but and there may be i can't remember but anyway, there's the first one. That's Duck Hunt with Skeet Shooting. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.